Yu-Gi-Oh! What's up YouTube, this is Jeremy from Team Bio, and today guys, I have the uh, test hand and combo tutorial video for you. Uh, the previous deck profile got 200 or 300 plus likes, I believe, so as promised, I will deliver. I know it's kind of late, it's been about a week, but I, I only really have free time on the weekend, so I apologize for that, but um, yeah, here's uh, I'll go through the quick combo tutorial for you, and then we'll do some test hands. Keep in mind, guys, that with the banning of Summon Sorceress, it really, really did hurt the deck a lot. So we don't have as many good two-card combos. So this is actually going to be a three-card combo utilizing Kageki, Kazaru, and the newly added Asceticism to the deck. So let's just jump right into the tutorial. Um, it's going to be like a three-card, uh, three three Saruja uh tutorial um you don't really know what you're going to end on it's just getting th to three serujas shuffling your hand and you'll end up with like six more six or more cards in your hand after your third seruja so to start off we'll normal summon our kigeki we're going to activate its effect and then we're going to chain the asceticism since it's still 200 attack so we can special summon fuma then we'll resolve kigeki special summon kazaru then kazaru's effect will activate which will add us Legendary Secret of the Six Samurai. Next, we'll link Kageki and Kazaru into. Thought I had this all organized, sorry. Our result over here. Uh, you can use the Zold's effect if you want. Uh, for this combo, we will. We'll just add Grandmaster just so we have another card in our hand to put back with Saruja. Next, you'll send four equip spells for Zold's effect. I'm gonna put my graveyard just right here so you can guys see. Ooh, that's bad glare. Nope, we'll just have it off camera. Anyways, for uh, our Kazaru, activate Kazaru's effect, and then we're gonna chain Legendary Secrets effect, special summoning himself. We have to be sure that we keep him out of link zones. So then Kazaru will activate, adding our Hatsume. Next, we will Synchro Kazaru and Fuma. For our Ib, we will activate her effect, adding our World Legacy Succession. So this is part of the combo where we, we will summon Saruja, but we won't get the draw because we're only going to use three materials. We need it to get just more cards, I guess. Uh, next, you'll link him for the Saruja, then you will activate the Ib's effect, summoning the Beacon from your deck. We'll summon him way over here, out of Link Zones. Uh, next, World Legacy Succession, you're going to summon your Kizaru, activate its effect again, search for Mizuho, activate Saruja's effect, special summon your Hatsume, activate her effect, you're going to banish your Legendary and a Kizaru. Two special. Pretty much anything from Grave. Kageki. Next, we will overlay them into your Levier. Levier's effect. We're going to bring a Kazaru right back. Use this effect again, and we're going to add a Shine Eye. Next, we got four different names, so one, two, three, four. For a four material Saruja. Then you'll draw four, put three back. Uh, I guess before that, you would have banished your Azold and Afuma for your Phoenix Blade. And you could have put back your Phoenix Blade, your Grandmaster that you searched, because it's going to be dead, you can't use it this turn. And then one other card back into your deck. And then you'll have... So basically, four in your hand. Let me do that thing I was saying earlier. Banish Fuma and Azold for your blade. So you draw your four, one, two, three, four. Put this, this, and one of these blank cards back. So we'll put that one back. And you have six in hand. Next, you're gonna activate Saruja's effect. Special, 
special. One, two, three, four. For your final ceruja. Four cards, three back. And, okay, so I lied a little bit. You end with only four cards in hand. Um, I guess that's not true. You had two more cards for your draw phase, or for when you start, the, start your turn. So you have the initial two from the three card combo from your opening hand, that would be five cards. Then four cards added from, to your hand from Ceruja. So it's just a lot of drawing, basically. It doesn't really progress your game state anywhere unless you draw into good combo extenders, but it's just nice draw power, I guess, get, getting you access to more of your cards. So next we will go over some test hands. I'm going to pause the video for a second, do a quick pile shuffle for you guys, and I will be right back. So what is up guys, we are back and uh, I finished pile shuffling real quick. I'm just going to shuffle the deck a little bit more on camera so you guys can see that I'm not trying to stack the deck at all. Do one more and then we will cut the deck. So as always in combo, test hand tutorials, whatever, we are playing ideal Yu-Gi-Oh! Where we are going first, we are not playing against hand traps and hopefully we draw well. So, let's see if we can do any cool combos. So this isn't too terrible. Uh, it sucks that we have two Call by the Graves because, like I said, we're playing Ideal Yu-Gi-Oh! But let's see where we can go. So we're going to Normal Summon Hatsume. Special Summon our Kizaru. Synchro, I mean Link. Into Azold. Activate her effect. We're going to search for... Kageki, put you in our hand if I can pick you up. Uh, next we will use our effect, sending one, two, three, no, nope, we like DDR in deck. There you are, four for our Kizaru. Uh, we will activate Kizaru's effect and we will actually just search this legendary secret. Add him to hand. So this is our hand and we're actually going to activate the World Legacy section targeting the Hatsume. And since we summoned a secret six samurai. Um, it sucks that we're not going to be able to use Hatsume's effect this turn, but we got to try to draw into more cards. Oh, deck's fallen. So we will link four into our first Saruja. Uh, activate effect, draw one, two, three, four. And at the time, oh, I should put my equip spells over in the graveyard too. Uh, at the time of, before I guess I summoned the Ceruja, we didn't have enough monsters in Grave for Phoenix Blade, that's why I didn't use it, just so you guys know, but yeah. Alright, so, um, we'll put, this actually isn't too bad, we'll put Kigeki, Kigeki, and called back to the bottom. Then we're going to activate our dojo. Then activate Saru's effect special summon. Mizuho. Dojo will gain one counter. Um, forgot my dice. Uh, then Saru's effect will activate targeting Mizuho, making him 1900, which is actually really nice because now we can asceticism him because he is 1900, and so is our Kazaru, which is a really insane interaction, which is actually why I started to play Asceticism in the first place. So then Kazaru's effect will activate. Since we have red, we might as well search our blue boy. Special summon him. 
Um, we're going to check our graveyard real quick. Do we have a secret? We have a Kazaru. So what we're going to do actually is we're going to use Red's effect tributing the Mizuho, or Mizuho's effect tributing the Shinai to target to Kazaru. Since Kazaru's... This has another counter, by the way. Since Kazaru is trying to be destroyed by a card effect, we're actually going to banish our Kazaru from Graveyard, which will then trigger Blue's effect, adding keys onto our hand. Special the keys on. Let's see, four. And this is our second Suruja, right? No, it was our first. Nice. So we have one in hand, which is a call by the grave, and we are going to banish these two and add our Phoenix Blade. Next, we are going to link four for our other Suruja. Activate Suruja's effect. Two in hand. Draw one, draw two, draw three, draw four. Astral Force is really good. Gateway is absolutely broken. So we will put these two and the brick back. So as you guys can see, we drew Gateway and another counter holder. So it's obvious this is just going to be a free win. Activate Gateway, activate United, then Astral Force is in our hand. Uh, next, we're just going to activate Dojo's effect, remove four. We're going to add a Kizaru from our grave. Then Suru's effect is special. There's just going to be four counters between the four of them. Remove four counters. Add Grandmaster special. Four. Remove four. And we're just going to do that with keys on. Same thing. Keys on. Same thing. Remove four. Where did you get the keys on? So, this is kind of a messy display. So, one more keys on is on field. So, no counters on field, and a keys on, and an astral force in hand with Gateway Dojo and United. So, we will actually special the keys on again. Let me go get another die. I'm sorry guys, I was just not prepared for this for some reason. So, what we're going to do, let me square this up a little bit. Um, I actually don't even know what we're going to do quite yet. First things first is we're definitely going to overlay two keys on. Into our number 39 Utopia. Discard. Four. Utopic Zexel. Next, Dojo's effect. We're going to summon Fuma from our deck. He's our only level one. Gateway will go up. United will go up. And we will shuffle our deck a little bit. Because we are actually going to draw off of this United. You know, we might actually make a third Suruja. Yeah, we're going to go for a third Suruja first, guys. So we're actually going to remove four counters off Gateway real quick. Thin our deck a little more. Add a red. Move two off of Gateway, two off United, actually. So red's in hand. I believe we already put our Phoenix Blade back. Yes. So we will link Grandmaster as one, two, three, four for our third Saruja. Activate Saruja's effect. One, two, three, four. Another counter holder is nuts hand a smoke signal. Um, we'll put these three back since we already have another counter holder. Smoke signal is kind of obsolete. Activate Saru's effect. Special. 
one, four, and one. Uh, gateways effect, remove four. Add blue and special blue. Two, two, two. Gateways effect, remove two from United and itself. We're gonna add one more Mizuho. So we will be going back in quite a bit. For those of you who do not, who do not know the infinite combo, I'll go through it real quick. Two, three, one after summoning Mizuho. I've gone through it once or twice before, but I'll go through it again for you guys. It's, uh, you're gonna activate your Mizuho's effect tributing your Shine Eye as cost. So we'll put the grave right there for now to destroy the other Mizuho, and you're gonna let it resolve. Then uh, Shine Eye's effect and grave is gonna activate, adding the Mizuho just back to your hand. Next, you're gonna use Gateway's effect, removing one, two, three, four to add the Shine Eye. Special summon the Shine Eye. Oh, that's a tongue twister. Alliteration. Special the Mizuho. They'll go up by one, two. United kind of whatever, just chilling over here with two counters. Three, four. Then you're just going to do the combo again. One, tribute, kill. Blue's going to activate, adding it back. Then you just remove four from gateway. Add, Mizu or add Shine Eye back. Special, special. Four, five. And you just do that infinitely and you'll get infinite counters. So we'll just put a one on top, showing we have an infinite amount of counters. Then we'll just add cards to our hand, because why not? We're just gonna leave one Samurai in deck though. So, next we're going to link one, two, one, only one link two into we'll go I thought I grabbed them both nope you got to be two different names special or phoenix next we will summon a guy from deck off of dojo we'll put the Mizuho out there Then we will link four, mm, we'll link three. It's a nightmare unicorn. Remove a couple counters from gateways infinite amount. Add special synchro into our ib. I'm gonna check real quick. I don't remember if we did open up. Yeah, we did. So we won't use her effect. We will then synchro again into Four Love Savage. Activate his effect. We're gonna equip Saruja. Activate United. Draw two. And six in hand. Zexel, Four Love Savage. I'd say that's a pretty solid combo. Granted, we did draw into Gateway eventually. Still, pretty solid combo. Pretty solid test hand, I mean. Um, I will do one more test hand, just because I don't want the video to be too long for you guys. I just want to show how consistent the deck is, how, how powerful of fields it can make, just for you guys. So we will do one last test hand. I'm going to Pile Shuffle one more time. Uh, then I'll do a couple shuffles on camera and I will be right back for you guys. All right, so we are back and we'll do a couple more shuffles on camera again. And we will do one final test hand and see how it goes. Hopefully we can be two for two with crazy opening hands. So let's see. Call by the Grave sucks. Kazan. Ooh, red, blue. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. So this is actually pretty solid. So let's get into it. 
you guys know we're just gonna special everyone out keep you two in hand let's see bring that out of the glare um we're gonna link these two up into our Isold. Activate her effect. Are you in the top half of our deck? Yes. Use her other effect, sending four as cost. One, two, four. Nope. Where are you at? Three, four. Cool. Send four. Summon our legendary or secret six samurai Kizaru. Kizan. Kizaru. Kizaru. Jeez. Long day. Then we'll use the effect actually searching red right back. Shuffle up a little bit. Special summon. How many warriors? Um, yeah, we're going to banish our Kizan and Mizuho. Add the blade. Shuffle up a little more. Because we are going to Saruja. And hope for the best. I guess we should give them the cut. Saruja. Four materials. Activate effect. One, two, three, four. Whew, gateway loyalty so one two um yeah we're playing ideal Yu-Gi-Oh. three to the bottom activate gateway then we are going to activate saruja's effect of special summon special summon the hatsume uh chain link one saruja and we are actually going to chain this time Let's chain link two asceticism because we want a special summon a Mizuho from our deck. Just really lucky opening gateway basically two two games in a row with a ton of extenders. Four. Then they'll both be at 1900. Um, I guess we'll smoke signal while we're in here. Add a blue. Special summon. Remove four. We're going to add Grandmaster. It's pretty much going to be the same combo that we just did. We're just going to end on an absolutely nuts board. Practically the same board. Next we will... Special... Scoot this all a little bit over. Special. You'll go up to six counters, two for each samurai. What we can do now, actually, if we want to get a little more counters, banish you two. Oh, we already did that. No Phoenix Blade, guys. My bad. We have not used Hatsume's effect, though. So we will link one, two, three, four into Saruja number two. Activate its effect. Oh, wrong side. One, two, three, four. Uh, counter holder. He's good. Three at the bottom. Activate. Gateway's effect. Remove two. We're going to add from deck. We're going to add a... Let's see. We're going to add a... Shine Eye. Next, we're going to activate Hatsume's effect. Save some resources. Banish a Gazaru. And a... Shine Eye. Special Summon Blue. Nope, Special Summon Red from Grey first. My bad. Skipping Steps. Then special blue, two, six, remove one, two, three, four. Let's see, add Mizuho from grave, six, two, 
six one. Then what you could do the infinite counter combo. One one for one kabillion counters. And yeah, um, we will link these four into a that's my deck, not my extra deck. Borload or bor yeah, Borlo Dragon. Activate Dojo's effect. Summon a level infinite or lower. Remove some counters off the gateway. Add keys on. Special keys on. Synchro these guys into an ib. Activate her effect. Where are you at? I don't think I use it. Oh, skip right over it. Oh. Then we will synchro these guys into our Borload Savage. Activate its effect. We'll equip the other Ceruja to him. Next, we are going to activate World Legacy Succession. Um, we'll summon blue. Remove some counters from Gateway. Remove some more counters from Gateway. Let's see. We're going to add pretty much everyone while we're in here then. Since we got the infant counters. Ah, I forgot to use the Just the Tears effect. Summon that guy. But we just won't do that anymore. Let's see. Since we have blue, remove some counters again from Gateway. We're going to add keys on and then red special summon overlay into Rebarian. Um, that goof? Oh no, Kizan was on field. Remove some more from Gateway. Add Grandmaster and Special Grandmaster. Link one, two, three, four into Ceru Ceruja number three. Uh, activate this effect. Chain link one, Rebarian Shark, chain link two. Stack that on top of the deck with Rebarian Shark. And that'll be the first card we draw. So chain link one. Chain link one, draw one, two, three, four. It's nuts. Put those three Kigekis back. Um, I guess activate Saruja's effect, special summon Fuma over here. I guess we'll activate these as well. Since the Secret Six Samurai was summoned, special summon. Let's see. Activate DDR. Pitching a Kazaru. The special summon a banished Kazaru. Overlay these two in your Utopia. Discard the Zexel in your hand. Then this will fall off as well. For your Zexel, remove a couple more counters from Gateway. I'm gonna add back Kizan, special summon Kizan, Synchro 5. And end with a Sheehan on field as well. With Mizuho in hand, you have at least four counters on this, two counters on Gateway, or on United, an infinite, an infinite amount of counters on Gateway. I'm sorry, guys, I cannot talk today. But yeah, that was two test hands and a combo tutorial for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, as you know, I just love make. I love the deck. I love making videos about it. Uh, I need to branch out a little bit, but yeah. Um, please, guys, like the video. Share the video with your friends. Uh, I just joined 
Six Samurai Duelist Facebook page. Um, I'm on there now, so hit me up on there. Just ask me what's up. The name's Jeremy, as you guys all know. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching the video. Remember, like the video, comment down below, and share with your friends. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Recognize when I wreck a mic, leaving all y'all mesmerized Killing instrumentals, but nobody wanna testify In his prime, I think someone better check the guy Always spit and eat the beat, gon' be hard to identify Stress minds and wreck mics and leave with the best lines My sex life is great cause I spit like a tech nine Stall competition, beat them with the lead pipe Sleep on you rappers just like it's my bedtime You already know that old big bro from the west side Got you hoes smoking on my flow like a meth pipe Forever cold, I'll eat your soul like a death side Headed to the top, shining brighter than a headlight You better wreck I'm about to go off, putting on a show and I ain't even trying to show off Here's the red dot, the shot, and kill Rudolph Call me James Bond, cause I killed it with a suit on